Joining us now is Dr. Bruce Bacon, co-director of the Liver Center at St. Louis University, and Dr. Jordan Feld, who is a hepatologist at Toronto Western Hospital Liver Center. Thank you so much for joining us. There Thank has you. been a lot of focus at this uh, meeting on the treatment of HCV, but you're actually leading a session on the pathogenesis. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's always good to know the, the mechanisms whereby disease entities or disease states occur. So the, I think there's value to, to studying pathogenesis. But as you said, the focus of this meeting is largely on new treatments. What, what uh, is going to be of interest in the session that uh, Dr. Feld and I are co-moderating is uh, several, several papers looking at different aspects of innate immunity as uh, stimulated by hepatitis C virus and the response, the cellular response that comes from that stimulation with uh, uh, alterations in, in um, interferon response genes and the, the relative differences in those responses by things like IL-28B status, um, genotype, um, different, different factors that are, are um, involved in how these new treatments work. For example, one um, uh, when sevastavir was uh, looked at in a group of patients, there were there were um, differences in the response in the interferon responsiveness in those patients who subsequently were cured by this uh, direct acting antiviral. So it looks like cellular interferon responses still get into uh, the mix of uh, of curing these patients. And are there new findings? I think there's some interesting new findings in the session um, looking at, as Dr. Bacon was mentioning, how innate immune function changes both just in the setting of HCV infection alone and then in the context of some of the new therapies, um, which I think still has potentially a lot of, a, a lot of relevance. Um, so in, in this session specifically, uh, Dr. Bacon already mentioned the issue we're looking at direct acting antiviral therapy. Also there's looking at how macrophage phenotype uh, is altered by hepatitis C. And also interestingly how the IL-28B genotype, which is an important uh, factor for determining response to interferon, actually affects the expression of the interferon lambda receptor inside the liver, which is uh, I think a novel and, and very interesting potential mechanism to explain this important pretreatment um, factor that determines outcome. And you may have touched on a little bit, but since there are these new effective treatments, why then, I guess, still study pathogenesis? Maybe, well, maybe I'll so, jump so in. It's always good to know more, uh, but take it from there. Well, well, I, I think one of the things, so, so I think there's a, a lot of reasons to still study pathogenesis. First of all, although these treatments are fantastic and they look certainly promising for curing many people, as Dr. Bacon already pointed out, it looks like innate immune function is actually still relevant for leading to cure even with these very potent direct acting antivirals. So that's the first thing, but I would also say that understanding these fundamental innate immune mechanisms is not only relevant for hepatitis C, but actually probably has important relevance for liver disease in general and maybe for just understanding the antiviral immune response. For example, it's clear that the IL-28B genotype is not selected for by hepatitis C virus, so that suggests that there's something more fundamental, some other infection, some other disease pathogenesis that is driving that selective pressure. And as we understand it better, that will have implications not only for hepatitis C, but likely more broadly for liver disease and other infectious diseases. Yeah, and sometimes the things we discover now we're not sure how they fit into what we think we're discover what we think we're testing, but ten years from now they might have a very important feature. So I think it's good to still study this pathogenesis. And a good takeaways for folks who are attending the session. So I think it's still a, it, it's it, like we said this is still an important session to to look at, and, and it's I think it's actually nice that it's right at the end of the meeting, and it, it brings together after looking at all of these exciting new therapies coming back and reminding us where we started with understanding the pathogenesis of the infection and looking at how these, how the virus driving innate immunity will still be relevant moving forward. Sounds terrific. Good. Thank you so much for joining us.